Hey there, Sky Watchers, Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth here. Good news if you like to do some stargazing, it'll be a little easier this week, and that is because we have a dark sky. Well, on Sunday, we have the new moon arriving. It'll be here Sunday afternoon at 1.33, which means there will be less pollution, less light pollution in the sky, easier to catch some stars and maybe even a shooting star or two. The quadrantid meteor shower, that is expected to peak early on Monday morning. You have the radiant near the Big Dipper, and this is actually caused by asteroid 2003 EH1. Again, look in the north after midnight for the radiant near the Big Dipper. And you know what? In a good year, you can see 50 to 100 meteors an hour with this one. Uh, again, we're going to have a darker sky. That's good news. But really, to catch the best show, you want to be far away from the city lights, away from that light pollution to see a few of those shooting stars. So if you're out in the country, look up and maybe you'll get lucky. And don't forget to make a wish. Also, we have something, a milestone for the Earth happening on Tuesday at uh, uh, Tuesday at 154 in the morning, the Earth will reach something known as perihelion. That is when it is at its closest to the sun in its orbit. It'll actually be just over 91 million miles away from our home star. And this actually really kind of underscores the fact that it's the tilt of the Earth, not how close the Earth is to the sun. The tilt of the Earth is what causes the seasons because right now we're in the coldest part of the year and we're at the closest point to the sun in our orbit. So there you go. It's really the tilt of the Earth that causes the seasons. So Earth will be at its closest point at Tuesday and on Tuesday at 1.54 a.m. And if you're out and about on Wednesday, well, look at Wednesday into the evening for a uh, look at a couple of planets. The moon will be very close to Jupiter, a nice little waxing crescent moon southwest in the evening. Just below it, you'll see Saturn. And if you have a nice clear view of the horizon, you may even be able to make out Mercury uh, with the pair. So look for those in the night sky. Again, when we get some clearing, get out there, look up. Hopefully you'll have a nice look at those dark skies and you'll be able to see some neat stuff. I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth. Happy hunting.